Hello all, uh, if you have uh, not seen the first two episodes where I have discussed till question 20, I will leave the link in the description. Please go and watch those videos. Let us start with question number 21. So question number 21 is about the cooking where it, when it is done with firewood with solid fuels and it generates the air pollution. So in this case, clearly you can see that carbon monoxide, sulfur oxides are there. Benzopyrene is also, if you know the composition, if you remember your school days, you can make it out that yes, by burning this wood, it will be there. And uh, the only thing which is not there is the lead oxide. So answer will be lead oxide in this case. Here in Meghalaya also, we have mostly in villages, people using firewood and uh, as a result of that lot of uh, this uh, indoor pollution is there and it is very harmful for the health of the women who are cooking as well that is why we uh, have initiated a project with global himalayan expedition and we are going to distribute smokeless chulhas so one thing is uh, that they don't produce any smoke and the other thing is it reduces the firewood uh, use by 50%. So imagine 50% less uh, trees will be uh, needed for this purpose and slowly we would want to move towards cleaner sources of energy like LPG. Question number 22 is about the total energy of electron inside an atom. Now uh, this is a little specific question uh, coming from uh, physics and then you must remember when you have read the uh, kinetic energy, how it is calculated for an electron uh, and the potential energy and when you sum it up, it's uh, the expression, total expression is negative. Uh, if there is a formula and there is a total energy shall be negative. So in this case, the answer will be less than zero. And uh, what you have to understand is these all type of questions are from basic level science of class till class 10. And that is why in all uh, these competitive exams, it is very important to uh, revise these uh, NCRTs and uh, concepts of general science. Question number 23 is about arsenic problem. Uh, there are a lot of uh, problems when it comes to water. There are different kind of pollutants. And since we are at many places directly using water from ring well, from tube well for our uh, drinking purposes as well and that is why a uh, lot of pollutants are entering the body and it results in a lot of diseases. So in this case it is basically since uh, these uh, components and these fine particulate matter are present in the groundwater. So over exploitation of water and uh, using it for the purposes of drinking and cooking that results in that excavate basically that escalates the whole proportion and that results in this problem. So answer in this case will be the over exploitation uh, of groundwater in the affected areas where this uh, arsenic is found. Next question is about uh, which uh, emperor uh, prohibited the use of uh, tobacco. So in this case the answer is uh, Jahangir and a very uh, wise step and which uh, we all uh, should also uh, look into and uh, here I want to appeal all the youngsters uh, who are there, the young generation especially and also everyone else that uh, please say no to tobacco, say yes to life. In Meghalaya more than 8000 deaths uh, every year are because of this uh, tobacco and this tobacco consumption is very high. It is absolutely brutal for health. So uh, for a healthy life, uh, for a healthy a professional life or a healthy personal life say no to tobacco question number 25 is about buddha's preaching now even if uh, let us say that you have not read or you don't remember the teachings of uh, buddha in this question if you look closely by analyzing the options itself you can clearly uh, make out the answer now devotion you know the first option is devotion devotion was a basically a feature of the bhakti uh, movement when you know the more uh, emphasis was on devotion ritualism is seen as in orthodox uh, cultures where there is uh, a focus on doing certain kind of rituals option b belief in the same god obviously if you remember a little about what buddha had said you will 
know that this is not the answer so answer in this case will be purity of thought and uh, conduct Question number 26 is a straight question about diseases. You will find various questions will they, that will be directly asking about some kind of disease. How it is caused? Is it because of the deficiency of some vitamin or uh, some element? And what, what happens? What are the symptoms basically? What are the impact of that disease? So mostly all the, co the common diseases you have to study and you have to know what is the cause and what is the impact so in this case is basically uh, because of the hyperactivity of the thyroid gland question number 27 is again a very basic question from uh, basics of economics and uh, now again now and again i have uh, shared that this basics of economics are very very important and in every this kind of question paper out of 100 you will see that at least 10 questions around 10 questions are always from this basic uh, uh, concepts of economics so that is why you have you must study this all these concepts very nicely and in this case uh, omo which is the open market operations are basically the buying and the selling of government securities by the rbi uh, because of various reasons and um, if you have read the basics of economy, I'm sure you'll be uh, knowing this answer. Question number 28 is again from the basics of economics. If you have read about perfect competition, so what happens in a perfect competition? So when the perfect uh, uh, competition is there, the firms will not have any control over the price. So they will not be uh, the price makers in that case so uh, they will be the price takers they will have to accept the price determined by the equilibrium of supply and demand in a case of a perfect uh, competition where everything is on the same level so in this case the answer will be c firms will be the price takers in case of a perfect competition so in all these questions you see these are very basic questions very direct questions and if you are well versed with all these basics of economics it will save time also you don't have to spend too much time it's a very direct question small question and uh, either you know it or you don't know it so you better be on the side uh, where you know these concepts so it will save time give you marks as well and it will be a great bonus to your score question number 29 is about why we use uh, red light in the traffic signals and uh, if you have again read basic of physics and the various wavelengths of different colors of the spectrum and uh, if you know that the least scattering uh, scattering is something like uh, light breaking into uh, different different parts so if that scattering is less so obviously uh, it will be uh, traveling to a longer distance and it will be visible from a longer distance so in this case the answer will be b and that it is least scattered and uh, therefore can be seen from a distance question number 30 is uh, an overlap i would say between indian polity and uh, econ indian economics and uh, this is uh, the most basic question if you have read the constitution if you read certain articles regarding these funds and how they operate you should be able to tell and even if let us assume that you are not aware of this so this is a question which can be solved by the general application of logic these are basically talking about unanticipated expenditure suppose suddenly some pandemic comes and there is pandemic like covid and then there is no approved budget for it then how will the government spend for these kind of expenditure so it is by name itself you can see the option the contingency the meaning of contingency is basically uh, all these conditions uh, situations which are not anticipated which happen suddenly so it, it's a contingency so every uh, branch or department there is some kind of uh, provision of contingency fund so if proper planned fund is uh, not uh, able to be used in that case in case of some emergency contingency so this provision of contingency fund is always there so in this case also therefore the answer will be b so again you are saying the basic concepts of so economics are being asked and also polity and uh, these polity and economics questions are always there 10 to 15 questions and uh, they can really they are very direct they are very small they are time saving and they are high scoring so if you master polity and economics it will be a great edge over the others so that is it for this episode and uh, 
the remaining questions we will discuss in the next episode keep watching and if you have not subscribed please subscribe thank you